Dude, Natsu's hair is so fucking badass, man. Like, you just can't deny that. Like, so fucking good, man. <laughs> yeah, that's not too surprising. This is literally like it feels like fairy tale episode one, man. Um them eating together. And I think uh, Lucy had to pay for the whole thing, I think. Jesus. Bullshit, Natsu. <laughs> I'm trying to see what what I can say like about this episode so far. Um, cause I don't I don't really like doing quiet reactions unless it's something that I'm really into. But like I feel like I could talk through this a little bit. Um. Unless something really important happens, and obviously I'm gonna stay quiet. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I love that. I I wish. I wish Fairy Tale in particular did it more. Whenever like an enemy gets hit so hard that it kind of like it looks like it reverts back into like a manga panel. Oh, that's like Levy's. Kind of magic, but like it looks like it reverts back into like a manga panel. Like, remember when Natsu fought Jalal and his last punch? Like it was just like a white and black. The same thing against Zero. Like the final attack, um, it was like white and like Zero's face was like white and black. Like I just love when any anime does that. Same thing with um Luffy when he punched the Celestial Dragon. Celestial Dragon, right? I don't really follow One Piece that much, so... Like, I stopped after the Fishman Island arc, so... Uh, and I haven't seen it in a long time, but I definitely remember that fucking punch that he gave that dude. Uh, but yeah, just, like, whenever it goes to, like... A character gets punched so hard that they knock the color off of them, it's the best. Alright, I love this fucking song, so I gotta shut up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The animation for this is actually pretty fucking 
On point. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's the saddest part when the when a great fucking track ends, man. That's so sad. <sighs> Fuck, dude. I was uh I was really hoping I would never see Afro happy ever again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I've been listening to like a lot of um fairy tale music lately. Um like uh Takanashi, Yasu Yasuharu Takanashi, like the OSTs for fairy tale are so fucking good, man. Like fairy tale's music is some of the best. And like I literally listen to it like on repeat every fucking day. Yeah, that's same old Natsu, basically. Um, like I was gonna say, um, like I was listening to uh, the song Salamander from the old fairy tale. Oh, that's a really cool picture of Natsu. Oh, uh, but yeah, Salamander, I think it was probably Fairytale OST number one, probably. Um, there's a song called Shipu Jinrai, and it translates to, like, um, uh, fuck. it's like, quick as lightning, uh, fast as a whirlwind, something like that, but it's such a great fucking song. Um, I don't know. You guys should definitely just go through like some of old school fairy tales OSTs, man. Oh, so so good, man. So good. That's a good commercial break title screen. Yeah, you guys should have known it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that was actually pretty happy. Oh, funny, happy. Yeah, I was about to say, um, why did Fairy Tale disband? But then I was like, oh yeah, I I remember. <laughs> Bastard's gone missing, yeah. I actually like that it's like really quiet. There's like no music playing in the background or anything. Really nice. Yeah, you left too, man. You just dipped the fuck out. You didn't. Yeah, that was pretty fucked up. Damn, dude. You should have taken Lucy with you, man. You really should have. That is really kind of fucked up when you think about it. Like, I know Natsu probably doesn't think of her in that way, but did he really just, like, does not, like, give a fuck about, like, Lucy in that situation? Like, I find it so hard to believe that he just dipped the fuck out without taking her. I know he wrote her a letter, but still, like, 
he should have at least for sure asked her, hey, Lucy, do you want to come with us on this journey? He always asks her to tag along on these jobs that uh, that they do. It's like, I don't know. To me, it's just there's no difference. Like, he should have asked her for sure. No, cancer, get the fuck out of here. No. Cancer, you idiot. All right, cancer hands down is the worst fucking celestial spirit after that. Why would you cut that, that fucking sick haircut off? <sighs> it's the same the same problem I have with um when Wendy cut her hair off and she went with a shorter haircut. I loved how she looked like uh with her shorter hair. And it was like symbolic because it showed growth in her character. But then they completely took that away when she went back to her long hair. So it was like, I don't know, I guess Mashima just has a vendetta against changing people's hairs for too long, I guess. I don't know. He doesn't like that or something. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, okay, happy, sure. I bet Lucy really missed this, for sure. Oh, okay, so they are going to talk about this. This chapter. <laughs> the faces. Okay. <laughs> Classic fucking guild arts. <clears throat> <laughs> Dude, Gildart's fucking darted his ass all the way back to Natsu. That's funny, man. I actually really like how they how they did that. Because in the manga, it was it was a silent chapter. And um, I don't know, I just like how Happy kind of told it as a, as a story. Oh, there's Michelle. Yeah, so I like how that was handled. That was pretty cool. And that was genuinely just as funny as it was in the manga, man. Probably, probably funnier, man. I got, a, I got a really nice laugh about it, like. And it was a surprise, too, because I did not even know or think that they were going to cover that silent chapter in this episode. Damn, dude, I love that shot. Mm -hmm. Shows you what she's been doing for the past year, man. It shows you just how important fairy tale is to her, so <laughs> is 
The blue fucking robes, man. I kind of, I kind of dig. I can, I can roll with it. But this is. Is this Matsume chasing or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, the Garu Knights was another fucking thing I did not want to see in this fucking anime ever again, man. <clears throat> oh, man, dude. It's like they fucking I just I just thought about this, but it's like they timed this so perfectly. This is Yo, they they got me right in the fucking fields. Are they playing the old fairy tale fucking thing? Yes they are. Yo Oh, I gotta, I gotta listen to this. I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta listen to this. Holy shit, man! Oh, dude, this is like a remix version too. They're running down like the entire series or something. Galuna Island, oh my god, fairy tale. <laughs> what are you doing to me right now? Phantom Lord? Oh my god, dude. Tower of Heaven, great fucking arc. Dude, they got me right in the fucking fields. Like, I cannot fucking believe this. Battle for fairy tale arc, yeah. Oh man. Rashi on the Sace, yeah. Uh Nazi versus Zero was a great fucking fight. Uh you guys should check out my top ten fairy tale fights of all time. Because I have that in there. It was a really great fight. Edelus Arc, the Tenrojima, uh Starry Heaven Arc. Dude, this fucking remix. Shit. Grand Magic Games, yo. Fuck that arc completely. Tartarus. The fucking god, the fucking goat. Tartarus. Yo. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> yeah, it it literally feels like OG fairy tale, like them setting off on adventure again. Um, so um, really quick, I want to before I go. Um, so we know that they're taking a hiatus. I really hope for that the next series, because uh, one of my issues with fairy tale twenty fourteen. Yes, some of the music was pretty good, like uh, Blazing Dance and some of the music and Tartarus and like the Fairy Tale 2014 theme were like really, really good. Uh, but why couldn't they use some of the uh, or all the music from the first, the original Fairy Tale anime uh, music into Fairy Tale 2014? It's the same composer, so like, why couldn't they 
use Urza's theme or Armor Titania or Natsu's theme or, you know what I mean? I find it so weird that they didn't use the music from, from there. So I'm really hoping that, uh, so when they do come back with a new anime that, um, I don't know, that they don't remake the music again. Like they use some of the music from, shut up. That they use some of the music from uh, Fairy Tale 2014 and even the OG Fairy Tale, because I think that would be really, really cool. Um, I mean, yeah, that's that's it for my live reaction. They really fucking blindsided me uh, with the fucking ending. I did not expect that at all. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, like I said, I think the hiatus is a very good thing. They need to get a better budget and hopefully a better animation studio so that the animation quality uh, steps up. Because let's be honest, Tartarus at the halfway point looked did not look good at all. Let's be honest. Um, animation wise, it's even art, there was some, uh, there was a lot, not some, there was a lot of dirt faces and stuff like that. So um, hopefully um, if there is a new animation studio coming in that they can do a better job and animate it better consistently and um it will be missed i will definitely miss it fairy tales my fucking jam but um uh good thing it's come to those who wait so um yeah like comment subscribe all that stuff i'll catch you guys next year i guess